Hi everyone, this is Ron Tran with Educational Technology Services and today I'm going to walk you through how to use iMovie. So when you first open up iMovie, the first thing you're going to want to do is import any media you want to use for your movie. This will be videos, photos, or audio clips. So I'm going to click on import media and I'm going to find the clips I want to use. So now I have all the clips that I'll be using for my movie. I have three video clips, an audio track, and a photo. If it turns out that you need to import any more media to your movie, I can go up to this little arrow in the top left and click, and it'll let me import more files. So when I first start creating my movie, I wanna take any of my clips and I wanna drag it down to this workspace. So I'm gonna take my three video clips and I'll put them into my movie. And now there's a few things you can do with video tracks. If I click on this first one, I have a whole bunch of options up at the top right here. Now these are just for color correction, changing the speed. You can play around with these different options, but a lot of them aren't really necessary. So one thing you can do is if I click on this magic wand right here, iMovie will automatically correct the image that you have to make it look as good as possible. Now, this is just an option that you have, so I can unclick it if I don't want any of that correction. So now that we've gone over how to change the look of our video, we wanna go over how to change the duration of our clips in our movie. So there's two ways you can do that. The first and easiest way would be to go on the end of your video clip, and I can click and drag and change the duration of my clip. Or if I take this little playhead I can drag it to where I want to split my clip, click on my video clip, click control, click, and split the clip. And this will split my clip into two different clips that I can then again edit. If I don't want to use a certain part, I can click and delete it from my movie. So now that I've changed the duration of my video clips, the next thing I'm going to do is add audio. So I have this one music track here and I'm going to click and drag it into my movie. So if you notice these blue bars below each video, this is where the native audio for each video would be. Now, the video clips that I have don't have any audio, so I'm adding this audio track that'll play over top of the videos. So now there's a few things that I can do with my audio track. To change the volume of my entire track, I can click on this line that goes across the entire track and this will allow me to adjust the volume up or down. Another thing I can do is if you zoom in, you notice this small little circle with a black dot. What this allows me to do is fade my audio in and out. So this is nice for transitions or introductions and endings. And the same concepts apply with my video tracks as my audio tracks. If I want to shorten my audio track, I can just click on the end and I can drag it to make it as long as I need. Or if I use my playhead, I can drag it to where I want to split it, control, click, and I can split the clip. And this will split it into two audio clips. So next, I'm going to add a photo to my movie. I'm going to go up, I'm going to click and drag the photo that I have and drag it at the beginning of my movie. I want to make sure my audio, the length of my track. And so with photos, if you notice, if I just click and drag it in here and don't do anything with it, it'll have this slow zooming effect. If I don't want that to be the case, I can click on it and if you go onto this cropping icon, it has what's known as a Ken Burns effect, if you know Ken Burns and his documentaries. Um, if I don't want to have this little zooming effect, I can choose crop to fill or fit, and it'll be the entire image and there won't be any movement. If I do use the Ken Burns effect, what I can do is I can have the start and the end points, and this is where it'll zoom from. So if I start here, I want it to end there, 
But once I play my movie, it'll zoom out. Now me personally, I don't really like how it looks, so I'm going to crop to fill. And I want to just get the picture of this mountain. So once I set it, and I play my movie, we'll have a still image. So say I want to add text on top of my photo. What I can do is if I go up to titles, I have a whole array of different types of titles that I can use for my movie. And all I have to do is click and drag the one I want and drag it directly on top of my photo. And that's how I can add text on top. On trans. That's how I can add text. Now I can edit the duration of how long I want this text to be on the photo by zooming in. And I can click and drag and change the duration. Or I can double click and that'll let me to change the text that I have. Now the same options apply for photos. I can change the duration, of how long I want my photo to be. And I can also change what type of title I have by just clicking, dragging, and replacing the other one. So as you can see, I have this title. Into my movie. Now I can also add titles on top of my videos too. So if I click and drag, put it on top of my movie, then I'll then have text movie on top of my video. Now if I wanna have a title with just a solid background, what I can do is iMovie has some preset backgrounds that you can use. And so if I click and drag one of these into my movie, I can take a title, I can put it on top, and add my text. So now if I play my movie, that's how you can add text. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how to add transitions. And the easiest way to do that is go up to transitions and you have these default transitions that you can use. And all you have to do is click and drag and put them in between your clips. I want to add some of these and that'll allow you to have transitions in between your videos and your photos. Now, if I want to change the duration of my transition, all I have to do is double click and change how long I want it to be. So that just about covers everything you need to know to make a movie, an iMovie. We've added our video clips, added transitions, photos, text, and audio. So now, now that we're all done, we want to export our movie. So I'm going to go up to File, Share, File. Now 720p is just fine. And I'm gonna click next and save my movie to wherever I want my file to be saved. In this case, I'll save it to my desktop. Now you'll notice in the top right, it'll take a little bit to export your movie, but once it's done, you'll get this message that said share successful and exporting the movie was successful. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned everything you needed to know to make a movie in iMovie. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the ETS team.